Is sauna all that people say it is, or is it a bunch of hype? Let's talk about it today on this episode. Welcome back to the Sarah Kleiner Wellness YouTube channel. Today, I am talking with Connie from Sunlighten. She has quite an amazing story of how she actually got into sauna in the first place. And I really wanted to bring her here just to ask her all the questions that I typically get about sauna and how it is beneficial for our body. The difference between a regular sauna, an infrared sauna, and even a steam sauna. These are questions I get quite often and red light therapy versus a sauna. And what are the actual benefits on the body on that cellular level? So we talk about all of that and so much more. Make sure you head down to the show notes. There are going to be timestamps for you. And there is a special link that Connie has provided me with today for today's listeners, where you can actually save $600 on a sunlight and sauna just through using that special link. So that will be down in the show notes. If you listen to this and decide that's something you want to treat yourself to for the holidays, that's what I did for myself last year. And I haven't regretted it for one moment. It's been amazing. So check that out down in the show notes. And before we jump into today's episode, I want to thank a couple of sponsors. The first one is going to be Viva Rays. They are my go-to source for protecting my circadian rhythm with their circadian glasses. They also have amazing eye masks as well as very wonderful low EMF headphones that you can use to listen to podcasts like this. And you can use my code Yogi to save there. Second sponsor is Upgraded Formulas. You can use my code Yogi or Yogi12 to save on any of their mineral supplements as well as their hair tissue mineral analysis with a consultation to understand the mineral balance within your body. So make sure you check out all of those links I mentioned down in the show notes and let's jump into today's episode. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the show. Very excited to have Connie here today from Sunlighten. We're going to talk all things sauna, which is a, a question that my community asked me about quite a bit. So Connie is an absolute expert on this topic. And thank you for being here, Connie. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I would love um, if you want to give a little bit of background. What got you personally so interested? I think we always have a kind of a personal story that brings us into the line of work that we're in. I'd love to hear yours with sauna. Yeah, it's really um, it's fascinating every time I think about how I got into this because I was working originally at Procter and Gamble in the pharmaceutical uh, field in the cardiovascular and gastrointestinal arena. And my brother was extremely ill for mercury toxicity. And it actually was his dentist, which I'm mm -hmm. so blessed that there was a dentist that was that progressive 25 plus years ago uh, that recommended infrared energy to help detoxify the body from his mercury fillings. And he... Um, did you know some research and at that time? I mean, this is in the 90s. I mean, this is a long time ago. Um, there was really not much out there, of course. And um, he invested and had an infrared sauna and changed his life and transformed his body into a you know healthy body where he could walk again and function, go up and down the elevator. I mean, he had vertigo, he had chronic fatigue, he had heavy melatoxicity, he um you know, as a result, you know, wasn't happy. So, I mean, you know, it goes down that black hole. I mean, it was just, it was horrible. He was mm -hmm. so young, right? So um, I saw this transformation. I helped him get the business off the ground a couple of years later um, ended up joining forces. So, and I always mm -hmm. wanted to make a difference at P&G. I was really involved in a lot of nonprofit boards for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and for different types of heart disease states to help people um, beyond the medical aspect, beyond the medicine, um, because I just really believed in trying to figure out the cure. And when I saw my brother essentially, you know, cure himself with a natural therapy, you know, without any side effects, just sitting in the comfort of his own home, I was like, oh my gosh, um, became really interested. And then I started doing research um, because that was my field, right, at the time. And, and I found that there was a lot of research that had been done on infrared therapy, infrared sauna in Asia, significant research on the cardiovascular mm -hmm. disease, um, cardiovascular health. 
and really mind-blowing, compelling research that showed how effective it is. In fact, you know, it may save lives and we could we could talk about it all day long. There's so much research. But what fascinated me, Sarah, is I, that was the field I was in on the pharmaceutical side, right? So part of what we were doing is researching blood pressure medications, and mm-hmm. we were researching different ways to help the heart function and help with congestive heart failure, et cetera. And here it was a natural product. I mean, it, it was it's yeah. energy. It's a natural wavelength that works with the body in such a you know holistic, complete way in the entire you know body um, to do it without having any significant adverse effects and and without changing so much so many medications in fact most medications while there there there's a you know need for them in certain situations they do alter the other parts the other mm-hmm. organs and other parts of the body mm-hmm. and in order to do you know accomplish their task and so this was a way a natural way infrared you know we can talk about where it comes from it comes from the sun and it's a natural mm-hmm. line of energy um and it healed him and so changed his life. And, you know, ultimately I said, oh, I'm going to jump out of a plane without a parachute and quit my great job <laughs> and, <laughs> um, joined forces with, at that time, um, was my, you know, Beyonce and now is my husband and business partner. And we've dedicated the rest of our life to bringing light, hope, and happiness to people everywhere. Wow. It's amazing. And, you know, my audience will definitely love the story because a lot of them come from a allopathic medical model. And I think what a lot of people are finding now is that the drugs, they don't necessarily get to the root cause. You know, they may provide you with some symptom relief, but a lot of times they're just suppressing things. And like you mentioned, there are other organs that are being impacted Mm -hmm. and there are other side effects that, you know, we all, (laughs) the pharmaceutical commercials with like the may cause, Mm -hmm. you know, like Mm -hmm. they just kind of try to throw that in there. Um, so I, I love this and I know my audience will, because again, it's, it's natural. And like you mentioned infrared, that is a wavelength that actually comes from the sun. Correct. Correct. Yeah, it's safe and natural. In fact, it's necessary for all living things. I mean, it helps mm-hmm. plants grow. Mm-hmm. So it's a necessary part of um, the sun's spectrum, light spectrum. And there's different parts of of infrared, which we can talk about as well. But it's mm-hmm. it's it's a very safe part of the you know the light spectrum, and um, we need to have it. And God, I mean, you know, part of the reason that people get sick is they're inside all the time yes. and they're, they're, they're not getting, you know, that solar energy and they're not getting the infrared, the natural, you know, light being absorbed and penetrated into their body. So, mm-hmm. you know, we now have other ways, you know, and other solutions, you know, such as sunlight and saunas. So, yeah, I mean, the sun in the middle of the day, I was talking about this last night on my stories is, you know, like 40 to around there percent infrared. So if you're sunbathing in the middle of the day, you're getting a really great, you know, punch pack of that, of that infrared. But how many people are actually, like you said, doing that? Most people in the middle of the day are working, they're indoors, they're, they have jobs. And if they don't, they're not necessarily laying out in the sun because we've been told that it's mm-hmm. a dangerous, uh, cancer causing thing to do, um, which that's a whole other rabbit hole to dive into. But yeah, you mentioned with the infrared, um, different, different wavelengths, right? And so what would that, if someone was to get an infrared sauna, um, what would that look like and what kind of therapeutic benefits would, would it target? Well, there's different, there's, um, three different parts of the infrared spectrum. So there's far infrared, which um, is absorbed into the deepest part of the body as far as the water molecules. There's the mid infrared. That wavelength is a hotter wavelength and that really affects inflammation in the joints and tissues. It also helps with caloric burn. Um, and then and as well as muscle recovery and um different types of athletic benefits. So we see a lot of athletes that want to make sure they have the mid infrared part included and then near infrared, which, you know, I call the vanity wavelength is really great for the skin, Mm -hmm. um, with wound healing and fine lines and wrinkles and collagen production. And then we just recently introduced, um, which is cutting edge. It's nowhere on the market. Can you find 
um, red light combined with invisible near infrared combined with mid infrared combined with far. So you get the three parts of the healing spectrum of infrared plus you get the visible part of the near infrared spectrum, which is, you know, red light and there's some significant benefits and there's a synergistic effect between when you combine red and near, you get a much um, higher effectiveness rate, especially with the skin and boosting the immune cells and brain health. I mean, there's just so many benefits. Awesome. Yeah. So it's kind of like a red light therapy panel, essentially, because those are ones that usually combine the red, near, infrared, but you can get that in a sauna at this point. You can get red light. Um, there's, we add in a, our, our new smart sauna, it's brand new mm -hmm. on the market mm -hmm. and there's red light um, panels mm -hmm. that are additional to the existing impulse, which had um, mid infrared, far infrared and mm -hmm. near infrared. So yes, yeah. yeah, so, um, it's, it's a really great, nice addition. It's not, you don't have to, you know, this is important to talk about um, because a lot of times people think you have to get the smart sauna in order to get any benefits. You know, each wavelength has benefits. Far infrared has heats up your core temperature, which is mm -hmm. necessary to fight disease. It's necessary for immune boosting. It's necessary um, detox. for detox. And it's necessary for cardiovascular health. I mean, it's necessary for so many different things. Hippocrates said, you know, give me um, give me a fever and I'll cure any disease. Yes. And so that's, for, that's far infrared. So you... You you can be perfectly healthy and just get, you know, we have a sauna that is the solo is one of my favorite products that is far infrared only. And, and you know, and, and it's portable and it's much less expensive. It's affordable, it's accessible, it's easy to use. You just plug it right in. So super, super easy solution. I want to make sure and mention that because we are all about it, sunlight and Sarah, like access. And, mm -hmm. you know, we want to meet people where they are. Mm -hmm. And not everybody needs to have four wavelengths. It's, it, right. you know, that's, right. and then, um, so solo is perfect. We have a sauna, it's called a signature, which has far infrared as well, but it's in a wooden cabin. It's not portable, but some people want, you know, to sit inside a wooden cabin with significant mm -hmm. other or by themselves, they want to have music playing, you know, and then we have, um, Amplify, which is a, um, blend of all three spectrums and has, heaters that you can turn on and off in front of you if you want to amplify heat. Some people want that increased. They want the hot, yeah. Yep. And then we have the smart sauna, which is the near, mid, far, and now red. Yeah, I think I have the amplify, um, which we have absolutely been loving here. It's oh, been, great. Yeah, that was a gift I got myself after my son was born last year and he just turned one. So I was like, <laughs> I need to have some self-care things for me postpartum. And that was one of the investments that we made. So it's been really nice. And I'm looking forward now to winter to being able to use that because that's, again, that's one time of year where we are not outside as much. And so we're not really getting, uh, the benefits of sunlight, the benefits of those wavelengths, which again, they are available outdoors, but this is like a therapeutic dose. So there's so many things, like you mentioned, the cardiovascular benefits. Um, I just did on my newsletter the other day was talking about, um, people that have issues with insulin resistance. And there's an amazing amount of research with uh, with the sauna and reversing insulin resistance, right? Um, yes, I believe there's a, like, there's a lot of research on insulin resistance or in, in, um, research on cortisol, on mm -hmm. you know, helping yep. to regulate the thyroid. I mean, there's, 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 it's mind blowing all the different, you know, ways that the mechanism of action, the way infrared can, heal your body. Um, but really if you, you know, like sometimes I get so overwhelmed thinking, oh my gosh, it sounds like it's too good to be true, you know, and I don't like that feeling. But but when I take a step back and I think our bodies are really designed to heal themselves. If we mm -hmm. treat yes. them that you know with the natural tools that we have, you know, then we can equip ourselves. I mean, your story, for example, mm -hmm. I read your story and the fact that you, you know, were able to, you know, conceive and I mean, that's congratulations. I mean, that's, a, that's a huge, huge success. And what a great role model you are for so many people to show that 
okay, you don't have to just accept right. you know, that you're right. that you don't feel great and you don't have to accept um the fact that you know you have miscarriages and it's just gonna it's just the way your body is. It is. I, yeah, yeah, I'm not designed to have kids, you know. Right. Exactly. I just I loved your story because it oh, thank you. it's what I believe in, which is let's get to the root cause. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's let's give our body the things that um it needs to do the job that it's equipped to do. Yes. Exactly. That's that's the thing. And I think that we've become so disconnected uh, as a society from this natural way of living that it almost sounds like it's too good to be true. (laughs) So um, that's why I love to have conversations like this and just keep on bringing this information out to people because, you know, our bodies, you know, are meant to heal if we give it the right support. And one of the cool things I know I've had Dr. Ger- um, Gerald Pollack on the show uh, to talk about the exclusion zone water and the water that surrounds our cells. You know, 99% of our, our body is this water molecule. And I, I would love to talk a little bit about how sauna can impact um, that cellular water in a positive way as well. Yeah, well, um, I've, I've heard... So my birdie told me that you are the expert. So I'd love to hear your perspective, you know, but I mean, essentially, you know, um, infrared light is, is proven, you know, to alter the state of water in our bodies. And when it, it does that, um, then it activates, you know, it helps with the mitochondria and it helps you support the proteins. Um, so it makes that stronger and it, you, essentially it helps with anti-aging because of the antioxidant, um, benefit it helps with stress reduction. And my favorite benefit is the energy boost, you know, that's, mm-hmm. I think so important right now with the state of, you know, everything I, when we're just going, you know, especially, you know, you have a, you have a, you know, a little boy and you also have a business and you're also trying to do your own personal, you know, development and professional development. I mean, you know, everybody is, has a story. Everybody has a state Mm -hmm. where they're trying to do their best. And, um, as a result, you get stressed, you know, which causes all sorts of bad problems, you know, to your body and your proteins and your mitochondria. And, um, and, you know, we need to take care of ourselves. And I, this new research, I'd love you to share, you know, you were on, you had Dr. Pollock on the show, you know, any insights from, from that talk, um, as well as any connection to infrared that, you know, um, just to add on, because there's so much information about so many benefits and it makes more sense now that I know this, because when I was first starting 25 years ago, there was, there was not the connected dots. Right. So I just knew I felt better. Right. I knew I had more energy. I, you know, I knew that my brother detoxified. I knew that it helped with pain. Like I knew, but I know why. Yeah. And so I'd love to hear from you on, you know, your interpretation. Yeah. And I mean, I think my audience is the same. Like they, (laughs) they love, they love like, okay, there's a scientific reason behind this, but I just want to feel better. And (laughs) That's it. So tell me the science, but cool. I I just want to implement this, but I know that that infrared actually allows your, the cellular water to increase, um, in the body. So it becomes more negatively charged. And so our body has like this, it's, it's a battery, right? The water inside of our body is like this battery that gives us more energy. So that's in very simple layman's terms, infrared allows our body to hold more of that negative charge. And when our body holds more of this negative charge, we become more robust, right? We are, um, the cells in our body are able to perform the functions that they need to perform more efficiently. Um, and that I think is a, a huge problem with people in our health and it goes everywhere, hormone health, disease, um, obesity, like you were saying, you, you see the benefits in the studies with, uh, insulin resistance, with cardiovascular disease, with all these different health conditions. And I think the mechanism is that our body is able to kind of make more of this intracellular water and hold more of that charge. So the cells actually have more energy. Um, and that's, you know, 
basically what I talked to Dr. Pollock about. He had been overseas and I, I think he was with a bunch of people and they, he was tired and want to go to bed. And they all were like, no, we're going to go get in sauna. You know, I think he was in Finland or something like that. And, uh, he's like, oh, they went and got in the sauna and he all of a sudden had all this energy mm-hmm. and he's like, wait a second, you know? And so, um, that is, that's essentially what I, what I take from that research is that it just gives our cells more of an energy capacity. And when we have that, we can better manage our metabolism, um, everything to our mood, to our hormones, everything just works more efficiently. And so I think that's really the value of these wavelengths of light, um, that we're, we're, we're missing. We're not getting, we're indoors. Um, Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I, that, that's my interpretation. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's one of the reasons, you know, people, all, one of the things people always ask me is, you know, when should I, when should I sauna? And I always oh, say yeah. from my personal level that it is hard for, I've tried, I mean, you know, I've been doing this a long time. So I, there isn't any time of day that I haven't <laughs> been in my sauna, mm-hmm. but the time that is hardest for me is the very, very, very end of the day. And I know lots of people that it works for, but so many things happen when I'm in there yep. that it is hard for me to go from my sunlight and sauna to bed. Mm-hmm. It's just difficult because my mind starts to become clearer. And so I start to get all these amazing creative thoughts and and then you know and then my body feels lighter mm-hmm. like i literally feel lighter like i just worked out you know um and so then i like have more energy i mean all these great feelings and it's really difficult to go from that to to to, to bed, bed. Yeah. yeah so i i prefer in the morning or or post workout i find that when you stack um, infrared, like a sunlight and sauna right after a run or a walk or yoga or any type of cardiovascular activity, it's exponentially more effective. I mean, it just, um, cause you're already in a different state and it just takes that, you know, that state and accelerates it, you know, even faster. So the health benefits, the results you're going to find, um, you're going to get there faster when you stack it. Yeah. And that's a question I get quite a bit of like, when should I do sauna? And I had a, um, one of my community members, she was really stressed out because she's like, the only time I have for sauna is first thing in the morning. And I know that's not like when you love to do sauna or say it's the best, but you know, I do think it, I, I just told her, I'm like, look, yeah, circadian wise, not necessarily the best thing to do first thing, but try it out and see how you feel. Cause you might feel really good. Like you're saying, you feel energized, clear headed. So yeah, I mean, we, we always, I feel like are looking for ideal, perfect time, this, that, and the other, because technically a uh, great time for sauna from a lot of experts I've talked to is, is that time before bed, because it brings the core temperature down, which will help you to get in those deeper sleep states. But for you, if it's like, making you energized and like have all these ideas. And like Dr. Pollock said, he, he went in the sauna and had all this energy at night. Um, I think we have to individualize it a bit, um, and and just kind of say, okay, well, this is better for me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's, everybody's different. And the way you receive, you know, energy and how your body you know, um, transforms and accepts, you know, um, and absorbs that energy. And, and, and it depends on what your body is going through too. Mm-hmm. You oh, know, yes. I mean, God, I, right, right. I mean, I remember when we started, you know, oh my goodness, I didn't realize how healthy I was compared to so many people that, yeah, I know that would, I was come in contact with and they would, they would struggle sweating and they would struggle and they just struggled. Yeah. And, um, so they're in a completely different state. So I would tell them, okay, okay, start slow. You know, you don't want to just kind of dive right in for 40 minutes. Like I do, that's not what's going to work. So yeah, I think it's, it's really important. Um, I'm glad you mentioned that it's really important that everybody tries whatever is best. And for that person that says, you know, I just don't have time or I don't, you know, I, it's hard for me to fit it in my advice. Cause I, have had that with working out and I've changed my mindset 
um, to, I just want to do the minimum. So whatever that is. So like, for example, when I run, I always do a 5k. So, so I would get trapped with the mindset of, I always have to do a 5k if yes. I'm going to go for a run, right? Yes. So, yes. and that's not good. I mean, it's, it's, I have learned and I have adapted um, over the years and it's been the greatest adaptation. It's also transformed into my sauna routine is I just want to get started mm -hmm. and say, you know what, if I just go a mile, if I just mm -hmm. go up the road and back, that's okay. Yes. I, I've done something. I have moved, you know, I have, um, you know, helped to get my blood flow, my circulation and, um, same with sauna. Like if I just go in there for five, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. well, you want longer, ideally, of course, but you will find the way the infrared works, especially yes. with the brain, like you will get in there and you're like, okay, now my mind is clear. The mind mm -hmm. clutter is gone. The mind fog. And now I figured out I can move this. I can do this. I can grab 15 more minutes in yeah. here. You yeah. know, it really helps with that. And so um, it's been the greatest gift is just just doing it. And then you figure out once you start how long you could do it for, but yeah. not, not, not doing it because you don't have 30 minutes or 40 minutes right. or whatever. Yeah. My, my uh, partner, Carrie, we have a podcast together called quantum conversations. She is a big fan of sometimes just going in the sauna and just turning it on and yeah. sitting in there while it's heating up because she's told you're getting all that infrared and it actually energizes your body. Cause we work with quite a few women who want to get pregnant and you know, and they're, they're kind of in that two week wait where we're like, yeah, you don't really want to do the sauna, but if you do like a hardcore session, but if you want to just go in there, turn it on, let it get warm and then leave after it gets warm, you're not going to necessarily negatively impact that two week wait, you're getting all that infrared. And so there's a benefit to doing it, even if you're not go like staying for an hour. And I think again, like what you're saying, everyone is so obsessed with having a, a protocol and mm -hmm. a time and a has to be this specific way in order for us to get a benefit. And it just, it does think, thankfully it's not that, um, that linear, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's the way how you just described the, um, like going in right away mm -hmm. is what Dr. Hamblin has taught us. And Dr. Hamblin, he is the world renowned leader on infrared. Mm -hmm. And he, we also work directly with him as a medical advisor. And so we learn, we're learning so much from him over the years. And one of his greatest insights that he taught me is Connie, there, there is no such thing as heat up as far as infrared energy I mean, infrared energy is actually at the optimum energy level when you activate it because it's the longest wavelength because mm -hmm. the surface temperature is the coolest. So if you just kind of picture this long, smooth, kind of an ocean, you know, like just a very smooth wave, that's easier for the body to absorb it. And to get into the water molecules and vibrate those water molecules and charge them, you know, and detoxify, then once it, because the longer it heats up, then the shorter the wavelength becomes, the choppier, choppier, is that a word? I think so, uh, yeah. Is it a word? It didn't sound yeah. right when I said it. Um, <laughs> the shorter, so it, it becomes more difficult and challenging mm -hmm. for the body to um, absorb that and receive it in the way it's designed to do, like when you go outside with the sun, you know, I mean, that's kind of what your body is, you know, designed. We're, we're like, we're like little solar panels, you know, we are. Our bodies, you know, we're, we're supposed we to are. receive light. Yeah. So um, I'm glad that we had this conversation because a lot of times I don't get into the conversation of go in and just turn it start, on. Exactly. Yeah. Turn it on yeah. and, and, and sit there. And it's ideal for, for women, I remember when I was going through, um, trying to conceive and I mean, I loved my sauna, you oh, know, yeah. like, um, oh, yes. and, and especially post, oh, I mean, I yes. couldn't wait to get in my, uh, you know, the solo at the time is the sauna that I used. Um, oh, it was just the best. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. 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 So good yeah. for the brain too. Cause you're, oh, you're, just, you're so stressed with having yes. a newborn, you know, you feel like even though 
It's been done for centuries. <laughs> it's hard. You know, it's, it's just hard. So, right. It's yeah, like, I don't, I don't think we have the right. support that we did for centuries. You know, we're so disconnected. Not only are we disconnected from nature, but we're disconnected from families and community and the way that we used to raise children is totally different than the way that we do it now. We're just alone in our homes. And so yeah, I think it it helps to have these these things like sauna and I've got a cold plunge too that I have right next to the sauna. And um those things have been really huge for me over the last year of just recovering um and all my you know circadian practices, grounding, all that stuff. It's been like a different recovery from at the age of 44 than it was at age of 28 with my daughter. It's been like night and day. I mean, I haven't dealt with the postpartum depression, the weight just easily melted off. I didn't have to like go kill myself in the gym. It just kind of came off. And I think it's a lot of these like natural practices and definitely sauna in that, um, that has allowed for that transition to happen so seamlessly. Yes. So, yeah. 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 It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, um, it's been a wonderful journey and, you know, helping people, you know, empower themselves with knowledge and resources and tools mm -hmm. to be able um, to live healthier lives, to live their best life um, so they can do more and feel better is what, you know, what we're all about. And I'm thrilled that, you know, you're doing the same thing and, you know, you're being such an excellent role model to your son too, you know, and of course your daughter, but I mean, like just investing in, investing in self-care and taking mm -hmm. the time and showing our children that the value of that is, is immense, you know, mm -hmm. because then they grow up, you know, knowing that, oh, well, my mom, I mean, like, you know, they, my kids, you know, still ask, mom, you haven't gone for a run yet today. You know, when are yeah. you going to do that? And I was just like, that's, I just love that they pay attention to that. And now it's part of their life. And, yes. you know, um, and it's just kind of what they grew up with, which is great. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. It's, it's so important to teach these things. Um, so I wanted to ask really quickly yeah. because I, I actually just got this question. Um, my friend Carrie and I, we did a podcast about red light and sauna and somebody asked, uh, what's the difference between a steam sauna mm. and an infrared sauna? Yeah, my, it's my answer different. was the core temperature really is what you're getting from that steam sauna, but the infrared, you're getting all these other benefits. Was I correct on that? Or I would love to hear your expert, <laughs> expert answer on that. <laughs> um, so it's, it's very, it's a very different experience mm. um, and it's very different results. So, um, steam is uses so steam is heat mm -hmm. right and you what happens as i said okay so we can take the conversation i talked about as far as the wavelength and how the cooler the wavelength the more the body receives and it's optimal like i said as soon as you turn it on so if you think about that then when you have hot air those wavelengths are a lot shorter and um, a lot choppier <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and they stay in the air. And so you're getting hot because the air is hot. Well, but for detoxification and for this, you know, a lot of, a lot of other, um, you know, um, results that we're looking for, um, it's really ideal for your body to absorb the wavelength um, and then it can start working on, you know, the heat shock proteins and the, and increasing the, your core temperature and, um, you know, detoxifying the body at the cellular level, you know, helping with the, the skin. I mean, the, the skin, when it is, it, is it, it, it will look different. If you do steam sauna all the time, steam for a little bit is, is, is good. I mean, nobody, I mean, I love like a good steam on my Me face too. every yeah. now and then, yeah. yeah, every now and then, um, but really, your the really two best ways to treat your skin is purification from the inside out to have your skin glow because it's it's removing. I mean, yeah. we're you know we're exposed to what is it seven hundred thousand heat chemicals each day that are yeah. in our air and water and clothes and everything, and so um, 
you know, that gets into our bodies and that affects how our skin looks. So you have to purify this, the skin and then the, the near infrared light will actually will help from the skin from the outside in. So inside out and outside in, uh, the two best ways to affect the skin. So I didn't, I was kind of went off on a tangent there. So let's get back to the person, the steam, sorry, the steam and the infrared (laughs) really to now that I, I, you know, you explained your listeners and they really just want the, the, you know, simple answer. And the simple answer is steam heats the air, infrared heats the body, Mm. you know? Um, and then we can get into, you know, easy water. Like there's a lot of clinical differences on how, why infrared provides, um, more therapeutic value to the body. And the other thing is there is a correlation between, you know, if, how how often you do it, right? So there, I mean, there's studies on, on um, the cold and flu season and boosting the immunity and yes. showing like the longer and the more often that you do it, the better your body is going to, you know, respond. And um, we find that our feedback from our, our you know, um, community is they enjoy the experience. Like they love doing it. They feel better. And that feeling better inspires them to do it again Mm -hmm. and again and again. Um, and so that's important because if you don't feel great and enjoy it, then your chances of doing it again and again and again, probably aren't as you know, um, probably not going to happen. And then you, if you don't do it, then you're not going to get the results. I hope you're enjoying today's episode here on the Sarah Kleiner wellness YouTube channel. Just a quick little reminder that if you are enjoying this episode to please hit that like button and leave a comment. And if you are interested in getting a sunlight and sauna, you can save $600 by using the link in the show notes below. And we'll try to do a pinned comment as well. I also want to remind you that if you are interested in learning more about quantum health, you can always save 10% on any of my courses by using the code podcast. And I have tons of free eBooks and free resources. If you go to my website, www.sarahkleinerwellness.com, I'm always happy to help with those free resources so you can get started with this lifestyle. All right. I hope you are enjoying today's episode and let's jump back into it. And does that answer your question? Uh, Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And hopefully that clarifies things for people who ask those things. Um, You know, there's a, like Dr. Uh, Huberman, he Uh has this whole 57 minutes of sauna and 11 minutes of cold therapy per week is the perfect um, protocol. And a lot of people will come to me and say, that's what, you know, I'm trying to aim for that. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I think Dr. Huberman puts out a lot of great work. So no disrespect to him. However, I think people have to kind of figure out their optimal time. Do you have a prescription of like, how much time people should spend or a way that people can kind of figure that out for themselves. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's maybe some individualization if, if you have any tips on that for people. Yeah, I, I, I do. Um, so I have two answers. One is as far as figuring it out for yourself, which is my favorite um, because you know everybody is different. Um, my analogy would be, um, hopefully we have some people listening that are um, like, either, you know, some type of outdoor exercise, you know, it doesn't have to be running, but I always like, I always use running because, um, there's always a moment when you run every single time where it's a struggle. And then if you just keep pushing and pushing, you kind of get into the zone, you know? Um, and then you feel like you can just like go forever and for everybody that's different. And, um, it's, it's, but it's your body's way of kind of, you know, resisting and then responding and kind of leaning in. And, and it's the same way with infrared, you know, when you're in there, if you feel, you know, some resistance, you know, I would, I would, you know, challenge yourself to kind of, you know, as long as you're feeling okay, as far as you're not lightheaded, you know, um, because that would be really the only thing is if, you know, um, you, you we've got dehydrated because you're yes. sweating, you know, out. Um, and, and especially if you did it after something else, which, you know, I have done. Um, and so I, I would just really pay attention to how your body feels. And if there is a, what I call like a tipping point where you start to move into this, like, Oh, wow. 
And we have found over the years, so um, at Sunlight, and we also have this wonderful boutique um, day spa that we opened, what, 2008? So whatever that is. So 15 years, holy cow, 15 years ago. Um, and I did like my own kind of personal study when we opened it because one of the reasons we opened it was to showcase, you know, Sunlight and technology and so on as we also did it for self-care and massage and other types of um, uh, treatments. But I stayed down there for a week and just talked to everybody about how they felt after, you know, using sunlight and sauna. And um, one of the consistent pieces of feedback is they noticed that, gosh, after, some people it was different, but most of the people said, I noticed that after 30 minutes, I wanted, like, I felt exponentially better from 30 to 40. And yeah. so, um, and again, it's not true for everybody. I don't want people to like hold me to, you know, to that because some people it's 20 to 30 but there is a there is a point where all of a sudden you're just like oh my goodness I like I'm in love this is so awesome and so we changed our 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 protocol downstairs at the day spa to always recommending 40 minutes unless they were doing um, we have in the smart sauna we have have programs Mm -hmm. and so the cardio program is longer than 40 minutes because of the way it's designed with science. And um, you just kind of, it's the easy button. You don't have to worry about all the science behind it. But if you want, you know, cardiovascular benefits, that's the button you choose. And it's longer than 40 minutes. But other than that, we changed it to 40. That would be my standard. My first recommendation is what you said, figure it out yourself mm-hmm. as far as how your body. Um, my second would be 40. If you don't, if you can't figure it out, 40, we have found with the majority of people has been like the perfect amount of time. And that would be just in one session, right? Correct. 40 minutes in one session, um, knowing that usually it's, you know, minute 30-ish, you know, 25 sometimes where all of a sudden, you know, your, your body is just like starts to sweat. You just like, you know, like, like all these things, it's like cascade of benefits starts to happen and you don't want to leave then, <laughs> right? Like you, like you really want to stay, you know, and um, shut everything down and enjoy, you know, the healing um, therapy. And then yeah. you can stay in there. You know, you can, you can stay in it longer, um, you know, hydrate, listen mm-hmm. to your body, um, make sure you're, you're supplementing your body with, you know, electrolytes. And, and, you know, I don't know, do you have certain electrolytes that something we always get asked do you like when you sauna do you have a certain um nutrition protocol or anything that you do i love the um canton hypertonic minerals i use those a lot um and if i do sauna if i've done a lot of sweating i will do um sometimes a little bit of lmnt one of Mm. those packets i I do those are really helpful um i don't like to have those packets if i'm not doing sauna if i haven't done a lot of salt because i do I mean, if I haven't done a lot of salt loss, right. because I don't, I don't like the sodium to potassium ratio on those so much. But right. again, if it's a sauna session, there's been a lot of heavy sweating. I will probably take an LMNT packet um, and and drink one of those. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what I typically do. And I tell people, listen to your body. Um, if you have muscle cramps or you know twitching or anything like that, you probably need more electrolytes. And you know, I don't like to do sauna. If on the daily, I think people, I don't know how you feel about that as a, with, with your business. Um, but I typically don't tell people to do it every day. I'm like, you know, two, three times a week is usually plenty. If you do it every single day, you do run into a lot more of a risk of, you know, uh, having some electrolyte imbalance. Um, what is your recommendation on that? It would be the same. I mean, people ask if they can and they can. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. They can. They just, just like they can run every day that I, I don't run every day, you right. know, and I don't recommend somebody to run every day, but can you? Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. You just, you know, you just have, you have to find ways for your body to recover and give your body everything that, you know, it needs. I think you know, two to three times a week is, is awesome. And if you can get into that, you know, habit of doing it. You know, the other thing I will mention, one of my favorite benefits of when I am in my sauna is I can do other things that benefit my body because I think mm-hmm. we're just all so stressed. 
trying to get to the next thing. And mm-hmm. there's very few, there's very few wellness opportunities where you can do something else while benefiting from the initial thing that you're doing. There's very few two in one type, you know, habit, I call it habit stacking. You know, there's just, I, I can't, I'm sure there are, but I can't think of a lot of other things. It's just like, when you get a massage, it's not like you can do other things while you're getting right. a massage. You kind of you know? lay there and relax. Right, 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 right. So, yeah. um, or if I'm running, like I, I, I haven't figured out anything else I can do. Nope. But when I'm in my sauna, I can stretch. And um, I found, you know, when you're know, doing like those types of neck, oh, yeah. you know, when you, you, you remind me when you're talking about muscle cramps, because mm-hmm. I was thinking I have gone down there when I had a cramp and I get in and you just feel right away the energy starts to just loosen everything up mm-hmm. and it just fuels your body in the way that um, it needs. I mean, and, and actually scientifically, that's exactly what it's doing. So um you can, you can stretch. Um, I did been working on breath work, which I love. Oh yeah. Um, you know, you can meditate. Um, you know, that's harder for me because my brain, the way it responds is in a different way. So it's, you know, um, I just get really energized and excited and creative and, um, it's just, it's awesome. So it's, it's difficult for me to meditate. I, I start and then I like, you know, get out of that little zone. Um, but it's great to journal, you know, it's great to for intention, um, visualization, goal setting. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do, you know, yoga, Mm -hmm. you know, um, while you're doing it, which is, it's just, it's just a rare, if you start thinking about, you know, your life and, you know, it's not often that you can do two things at once that benefit you um, from a self-care standpoint. Yeah. I just take the time to just relax. Sometimes I'll just kind of put my legs up the wall. Uh-huh. I love that. Deep, yeah. Do the deep breathing and just, yeah, just try to go in there and zone out as much as possible. Cause <laughs> it's nice that it's so quiet in there too. Yeah. Like your own little like place away from nobody asking you to do anything and you just, yeah, you kind of get in that zone of relaxing and just letting your body have that much needed rest and self-care. And then you think about getting all that infrared, you're doing so much for your mitochondria, your skin, your heart health, your um, blood sugar. Uh, what other benefits maybe that I didn't mention that you know of that, that yeah. you've kind of, like you've mentioned, you've got some really great scientific advisors on board now. Um, what would be some interesting things for my community to understand? Yeah. One, um, area that I find fascinating that I I'm just so um inspired by is the research on depression oh yeah and so there is a study done from Dr. Rizong from University of Wisconsin Madison that um found in only one session with a, an infrared sauna that and the sauna is similar to that um, our solo so it's like whole body hyperthermia kind of a chamber, you know, it was in Germany um, and very, very expensive piece of equipment, but essentially it's the same. I mean, the goal of that treatment was to increase the core temperature. And what they're finding is that um, people who are depressed have, um, are unable to thermoregulate. So they're kind of stuck in what I call like the switch, where it's like the on off button is not working. And the infrared energy helps to unlock that um, that switch that's stuck, helps the body to heat up, and then most importantly, to cool down, right? Because a lot of people who have issues, their body isn't able to cool down. Yes. And so that's why they have problems with sleep. And that's, you know, I mean, this is what uses your area as far as circadian, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, this is the whole um, study of, 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 you know, heating up and cooling down. And um, so that to me was, is fascinating because it's one session. Cause we talk about, you know, multiple times a week and getting into habits and all, all that's great. But the fact that it, um, it helped people in one session and the, the benefits Sarah lasted for up to six weeks. Wow. I know it's like, wow, my, it's, it's mind blowing. So, so now we're trying, there's other studies that are trying to emulate that study with products like the solo where it's accessible. You could do it in your home and really analyze and assess, you know, um, 
the data and, and you know, hopefully produce some really great compelling, some additional add-on compelling research. But there's also on that same note, there's great data with um with near infrared um on the brain health and how it helps mm-hmm. to, you know, get more oxygen to the brain and helping um, you know, to activate the brain cells and and also produce kind of a happy brain effect, you know. Mm-hmm. So there's 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 both on on far infrared and and near infrared as well as red light um, benefits for the brain and depression. So I think that's really promising. You know, I um, people who are depressed are in a really you know dark dark place, and hopefully we're bringing some light you know to their yeah. darkness, and um, and we can help them. Yeah, absolutely. You know? um, so that's it's really important to me because. I am just all about, you know, people living healthy, happy lives and however that they can. And so it, it it's painful to me to hear the just horrible statistics about depression oh, yeah. and um, yeah, all those different stuff. So there is a solution out there um, and it would be great if we could, you know, not that the serotonin inhibitors, not that medication isn't, you know, has to have a place, but we would get to a place where we could take less. Mm-hmm. you know, medication and, you know, empower our bodies to work within, you know, these just wonderful energy levels of infrared. Um, that would be a really great, a great solution. So it, depression would be one thing we didn't talk about. Um, we talked about, and you know, we talked about heart health. I mean, that's just, that's the most extensive mm-hmm. area. Um, there isn't any topic that has been studied more with infrared than you know, cardiovascular health and just the impact that um, infrared has on giving you a healthy heart, on helping to protect your heart, on helping to protect your your hospitalization rate because mm-hmm. of congestive heart failure or coronary artery disease. Um, there's lots of studies um, with that. Um, there's the other one I was just thinking about when you said that was, um, oh, with detoxification, we talked a little bit about it, but, um, again, scientifically, and it sounds like, you know, that's not as important, but I want people to know there is, um, I saw one of your values is, you know, transparency and, Mm -hmm. um, and that's really, that's be true is one of sunlight and values. And we also have a science, we want to make sure we, you know, back up anything that we say. And so detoxification for a long time, everybody knew that they were getting rid of toxins, but they didn't really understand, you know, um, and now there's, you know, additional science that backs up everything that we've claimed, which essentially says that, you know, um, more toxins are removed from sweat than, you know, that the more toxins were found in sweat than in blood and urine. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just measuring those, you're maybe missing some really important toxins such as cadmium, which is found everywhere and lead, aluminum, mercury. Um, so it's important to, you know, um, just sweat, just sweat. It is important. It's so important. Yeah. I think a lot of people are missing it too, you know, because they're not number one, they're not exercising necessarily. Um, and then if they do exercise, are they doing it enough to make, you know, to get sweaty? Uh, so I find definitely that getting in the sauna and getting a nice sweat the mental health benefits, the physical benefits. I mean, it's just, it's so helpful for people. Um, I used to be addicted to, uh, to hot yoga when I was a lot younger and I would go as 105 degrees, 90 minutes, and I would do it five, six days a week. But, uh, now I don't have the time for that, uh, with two kids and business and all of that. And I find the sauna is just, a lot more relaxing and and productive. So yeah, I think it's important to to do what you can. That's the most impactful for the shortest amount of time, especially as busy as people are these days. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah. And then also boosting the immune system. I think we briefly talked about that, but I mean, as we get into the winter and, you know, there's viruses and colds, I mean, you know, I mean, we're, the infrared is going to help stimulate white blood cells and heat shock proteins and fight, you know, fight the viruses, um, that are out there. And so makes your body, I mean, it makes your mitochondria stronger. It makes your protein. It just helps to not only, obviously we talked about the energy level, but it helps to get your body, your cells stronger. 
mm-hmm. and um, have them like, you know, I just kind of picture like I have these like little warriors inside. <laughs> They're just like, okay, come on, bring it on. You know, yeah. I'm yeah. ready for you. I've got shield. I've got everything. I'm protected. Um, yeah. And so that's just another, um, it's another way to help yourself so that you're not in bed, sick. Yeah. You know, Cause then yeah. that happens. And then that's, then you have to go through that recovery. And, yeah. yeah. And that's one question I think people might ask is, should I get in the sauna if I feel like I'm getting sick? Should I get in the sauna if I'm sick? At what point in that process is it okay? Or is it kind of like, um, to feel how that works for your body kind of a deal? Um, well, we have always over the years, and I'd love you know, to hear from you if you have a different recommendation. Um, but I mean, universally, consistently, I haven't heard anybody ever say not to get in when you start feeling sick. Like everybody is kind mm-hmm. of like, you know, um, people have natural, like what chicken soup or so I've heard mm-hmm. miso soup, or, you know, there's different types of things. If I start to feel or zinc, like I, you know, if I start mm-hmm. to feel anything, I do, I take this or eat this. Um, it's the same way for infrared. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it makes sense because it's, again, it's going in, you know, and it's stimulating your, you know, your white blood cells and it's helping to put those little armor <laughs> jackets on your cells and make them stronger and make so that they can fight, you know, colds and they can fight it. And that's how I always, and I did this with my kids when they were, you know, younger, I'm like, we're going to fight through this, you know, yeah. we can do this. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I would definitely recommend sometimes when you're really, really sick, you know, you just, it doesn't, you know, you have to, it, that's where it's different for everybody. Sometimes mm-hmm. it, like I've done it all the different ways and sometimes it feels great. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. Oh my gosh, yeah, that yeah. was amazing. You yeah. know, and sometimes, you know, then like I get more tired and um, so it, that one is tougher. I don't know if you mm-hmm. have a, any other opinions on that. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you. I think it's one of those things where you have to just kind of go with that intuitive feeling. I think we're so disconnected to our natural intuition that we're like, I have to go research this or listen to a podcast on this. And it's like, if you're starting to come down with something, but like intuitively your body's like, okay, I think a sauna session would really help right now. I say, go for it. Um, but if you're starting to come down with something and you're like, Oh, not so much. Like that's how I've been with cold therapy over the last six weeks or so. We've had a lot of stress going on in the house and I've only been in my cold tub, I think twice because my intuition is very strong that if I have a lot of other stress going on that I don't need to be going into, you know, 30, 35 degree water is not a smart thing for my body. Um, so I think, yeah, just my advice to people is not if people get mad because I can't give them a exact formula, but yeah, I just listen to listen to your intuition around it because you may feel like you're coming down with something, get in that sauna and kick it out. Exactly. You know, and sweat it. Cause like you said, it induces a fever right. essentially. And, yeah. and that can be a very, we are afraid of fevers. We don't want to take the Tylenol and all that stuff, which is a whole other, uh, Whole other podcast about why right. I don't recommend that, but allowing your body to induce its own fever essentially that's how that's a healing response, um, for the body. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my thoughts. Yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree. I mean, the fever is you, you get your body in a regular state of increasing your core temperature you know, even if it's only two to three days a week, you will notice a big, huge difference in the way mm-hmm. you feel and in your body will be stronger and it will so that then you're, you will be able to just naturally and quickly fight off things when they come, you know, you're right. You, you see the people that, you know, get sick as the wind blows. Right. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. um, and then, you know, you typically see, you know, really healthy people are able to fight off, you know, because they're equipping their body, you know, they're, they're eating right. They're not taking tons and tons of, you know, medication. I mean, they're just, they're feeding their body the fuel that it needs mm-hmm. to be stronger and, you know, um, fight these, you know, nasty viruses that mm-hmm. are, that are out there. So, um, exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, is there anything else I didn't ask you about that you think I, we sh- should let everyone you listening know, know about? I would say that when, when you talked about, um, 
brought up something that made me think of, oh, um, pain relief. So let's talk mm. about that for a second, because, yeah. because we're talking about intuitive and sometimes, you know, if you have a part of your body that's, you know, you, you, you sprained your ankle or your neck hurts or your knee or whatever, you know, your some, some part of your body is in pain. It may not be intuitive to go into the sauna, but let me tell you for sure, <laughs> that is the time when you do. And if you haven't, any of our choices work, the far infrared, you know, amplify or the smart sauna. So any of them will help with pain. The smart sauna is designed with the the four, the three wavelengths plus red. It is really specially engineered for decreasing inflammation at all different levels. Mm. So if you, you know, if that's an area of your life where you are just, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm in so, so much pain and it's in, it's in my muscles, it's in my feet, it's in my, you know, um, mm-hmm. that's one time where I would say, consider the, the smart sauna because far infrared is going to go, um, going to heat up your core. So it's going to, you know, go absorb the, the deepest mid is at the joint and tissue. So you're handling the inflammation there far. You're handling it deep near is on the surface. And then red is helping, um, you know, with the brain and with, um, the skin, um, as well. It just is a synergistic effect with, with the near. So that would be my one thing of, um, it may not be, and I don't, I don't know for me, it's so intuitive, you know, I'm so close to it. So I don't yeah. know what natural, what normal people, um, you know, would think, but I, I would, I would definitely say it's, it has been over the years I trained. Um, so Aaron, my husband, business partner in 2000, what was it 16? He did Ironman and I trained the running part with him. Um, and then I just kind of accidentally fell into doing a marathon because I was training. I was like, well, shoot, I just did, you know, 13 miles. Like, I could do 13 more. So, I mean, um, but part of that, my sauna was my, I mean, my lifeline when I was mm. training because it does not feel good to run 20 miles. No, I've done I mean, that. Yeah. Not in many, many, many years, but yeah, no, it does not feel good. No, it doesn't. There, it just, I mean, that guy, I mean, I'm so inspired by those people that can just do it over and over and over again. That's just amazing. Yeah. But I mean, my, my knees, my foot, you know, every part of my body, I remember that 20 mile run. And I mean, I came back and I could barely get down the stairs to get into my sauna. And, um, I, after a session, I was like, I just ran up the stairs. I mean, it's just amazing. And so it's, it's the benefit of all of the different wavelengths working together Mm -hmm. to decrease inflammation and to speed up muscle recovery. Um, it's, it's really very, very therapeutic. So that would just be the one thing if there's people who are listening, who are um, going through different types of pain in their body, uh, I would just really encourage you to try, you know, some lines infrared at any level it doesn't have to be the smart. It can, so you can start as a solo, mm-hmm. solo by itself. You don't even need the pad, just start, just start, <laughs> you know, yeah. to start doing it. And then you can figure out what works for you. And then you can change over the years. I love that. Yeah. I I love, I think it's just so important to not be fearful and just to just try a little bit, just start. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Don't, don't be your own worst enemy. Exactly. Right. I mean, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. It, I say right. that all the time. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. 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 It gets good enough. Like, yeah, exactly. you know, perfect is, is amazing. And I love when somebody says that word to me, cause I was like, wow, I'm not, I wasn't going for that. <laughs> So if you told me that that's amazing, I'm always going for just good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it takes you forever to like, you know, to, to get to that, that level. I'd rather get a lot of things done and be good mm-hmm. enough, you know? Um, so I yeah, I totally get. And then the other thing is for your listeners, we're offering a sunlight and special discount. Ooh, so fantastic. yeah, they have to, you know, mention um, you in the podcast you know, that where they found in order to get the special code, um, but they can get up to $600 off, um, which is, you know, again, we're all about making a difference in this world. And you can't do that unless you, you know, take some risks and, and, and offer things and, and increase access as much as possible, which is what yeah. we try to do at Sunlight. And so however we can help support, you know, the community to be a healthier place um, is what makes us tech and it's what fills our bucket. So awesome. Happy to work with you. 
Is there a time limit on that? Or is that just something that you're willing to extend? That's something that we're willing to extend. There's no time limit on that. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. They just, the, the key factor in that is you. <laughs> okay. Well, just mention me. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, well, I've yeah. already got my brother-in-law. He's got a sunlight and he just got it installed last week. So we've got, you know, sunlight in here, one of my brother-in-law's house and <laughs> he loves it. So we're trying to make it a family affair here. Yay. And my sisters come over here and use mine. I've got people helping me with my kids. And I let them, when they get finished with the kids, they get off their shift, they'll go out and use the sauna. So we just have everybody using it. And I think it's, it's a wonderful health tool. And, um, I really appreciate this episode. I think it's going to answer a lot of questions for people and really help educate them. So, um, oh, yeah. well, if, and if they still have questions, Sarah, just reach out. I mean, we're happy to you know, provide additional information. We want people to have the information they need to make really great decisions and feel, most importantly, feel good about yes. the decisions they're making, right? Feel confident. And um, so however we can support you and your listeners and give them information, we are we are all in and ju oh. just don't hesitate to reach out. If you don't know something, just, just call us. Thank you. That's of wonderful. And, and I'll put all that information down in the show notes for people. If they want to contact you, get more information, any of that will be in the show notes. So perfect. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, Sarah. It was a pleasure. It was awesome. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Evolving Wellness Podcast. I really appreciate you for being here and for leaving all of those amazing kind reviews. If you haven't left one yet already, make sure to head on over to Apple or Spotify and leave us up to that five-star review. If you do want to learn more about sunlight and saunas and possibly take advantage of that $600 discount that they have offered my listeners, check out the link, the special link that is down in the show notes and you can can take advantage of that for the holidays. We are quickly approaching that time of year. And I want to thank again, my two sponsors, Viva Rays. I love their blue blockers. They are so fantastic. And you can use my code Yogi to save on those and upgraded formulas code Yogi 12 or Yogi to save there on any of their minerals. Absolutely love their magnesium, by the way, just restocked on that. I bought six bottles because it is something that I give to my daughter, my husband, and I take myself. And you can, again, save using those codes I mentioned, Yogi12 or Yogi. And I thank you again for listening to today's episode. As always, you can go to my website for free resources, free eBooks. It's www.sarahkleinerwellness.com. And I look forward to talking with you again next week and bringing you more content on health. Have a fantastic rest of your day.